Hey guys, back with another video. Today I wanted to talk about technical analysis, um, kind of my general thoughts on it. You know, um, there's definitely some disagreements about whether it's um, effective, whether it's just like, um, uh, what do they say, like astronomy for, for, for men. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, so I definitely use technical analysis. It's not the first thing I use when I'm deciding if I want to buy something, but to me it's helpful when I want to know when to buy something. And I think one of the biggest pitfalls in investing in general is your emotions. So your emotions generally are gonna tell you, especially if you're not a seasoned investor, they're gonna tell you to do the exact wrong thing at the wrong time. So when things go down, your emotions are gonna tell you to sell. When things go up, your emotions are gonna tell you to buy. Now, technical analysis, at least in the ways that I use it, does the opposite. So it can help mitigate um, the negative side effects of your emotions in when dealing with markets. So, um, so I mean, some of the indicators that I use are really generally some of the more basic ideas. RSI, for example, probably the most basic indicator there is. It's just a line that when it's down, it's showing you that um, that a stock is oversold. When it's up, it's showing you that a stock is overbought. So using indicators like this can really be the opposite of what your emotions will, will tell you to do. Um, and on top of all of that, I wanted to talk about how um, using them in relation, especially when you're talking about cryptocurrencies, um, using them in relation to the Bitcoin pair as well as the US dollar pair. Because when you're buying a cryptocurrency, you want to, um, if you're buying something other than Bitcoin, you want to outperform Bitcoin, obviously, because Bitcoin is kind of the, the benchmark and uh, especially now, Bitcoin is, has been underperforming. I don't think that will keep up. I'm th in fact, just to speculate real quick, I think after the ETH merge, I think it's gonna be a sell the news event and ETH will start underperforming Bitcoin, but that's just my thoughts and it's speculation. Um, but you also, I think, wanna use technical analysis when buying a crypto and using it against its Bitcoin pair. So not only do you wanna be buying the crypto when it's, um, you know, for example, with the RSI, when it's oversold against the US dollar, you also wanna buy it when it's oversold against Bitcoin. And this will help, um, you know, it's just another check to make sure that you're buying it at a relatively good time. Now, again, I don't, like technical analysis is not the first thing I use to decide if I want to buy something. First of all, I want to know about the the fundamentals of whatever it is I'm buying. And I want to build conviction over time. And, and conviction takes research, it takes time. And um, so that's number one. And then once I have conviction and I understand the fundamentals to an extent at least, then I can use technical analysis to help me figure out if it's a good time or you know not not so such an optimal time to buy whatever it is so those are my thoughts on technical analysis um you know i could go deeper on that but that's the most basic the most fundamental ways that i use technical analysis and again rsi i think is the most simple and i, I really like the rsi because it's just so simple but I use some other ones such as stochastic RSI, um, moving averages. I love the, the longer term moving averages, like the 200 day moving average for the Bitcoin, for Bitcoin in particular, I love the 200 week moving average, which has always historically been, you know, what, um, you know, the price gets the 200 week moving average when we're bottoming in Bitcoin historically. Right now we're, um, below the 200 week moving average. So that's one reason why I like buying Bitcoin at these prices. Um, and I also sometimes use, uh, um, what's it called? I can't think of what it's called, but 
Anyways, that's it for this video. Um, if you like it, leave a like, subscribe. See you next video.